Greetings everyone, Brad here with Mild Mannered EDC. I hope you're doing really well out there. So today we are gonna to do a top 10 list here on the channel. And I don't generally do a lot of top 10 lists and that's primarily because <laughs> I don't have really 10 of any specific style of knife sort of laying around. But what I will say is size is a bit, is, is a bit more generalized, right? I mean, you may prefer larger uh, EDC pocket knives or smaller EDC pocket knives. And as a result, your collection will probably favor or reflect that in some way or another, right? So for me, I generally do prefer sort of three and a half inches, inch blades and under. Um, I, I have some that are a little over that and I, I, you know, even three and a half inch for me is a little on the bigger side. I generally, just because of the work I do, um, honestly, just the way I have to dress, just other thing, I, I oftentimes just prefer a slightly smaller, lighter EDC option. So for me, that sub, you know, sort of three and a half inch is really where I gravitate towards. Now that's, that said, everything on the list today will be under three inch blades. So sub three inch blades. So they are truly and honestly sort of small EDC knives. I think all of these are really great options and can, can stand toe to toe with any other small knife offering out there. And I, and all of these I recommend at this point. Now, nine of them are my own from my own collection. One of them's on loan to me uh, for review from a buddy, but after kind of experience it, experiencing it and having it on the table and in my pocket for a bit, it definitely deserves to be on this list because it's just a cool knife um, and definitely in that small category. So. There you go. Now we're not going to do, you know, these aren't going to be reviews of each night. We're not going to, you know, list out all the specs or anything like that. Cause this would be like a three hour video and who wants to listen to me talk for three hours. So uh, this will be very kind of generalized and high level, but I'll, I'll try to get the most uh, sort of pertinent germane facts in there for each of the knives as we go along. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get stuck in on this list, shall we? All right. First on the list is the CHR, CJRB Ria. Now this is a really cool offering from CJRB and this was actually one of their earlier offerings and this for me was when I said this is when I really started taking notice of CJRB. Now they, they had the Centros which they came out with which was an awesome knife but again it was a little on the bigger side for me. I still I still maintain an, an amazing value and very cool design but it was just a little too big for me. This one really hit a sweet spot for me. Not only is it an interesting design, it's got this kind of cool sort of, I don't know, teardroppy sort of blade style with this sort of uh, accentuated belly that's up there. And Leon's getting larger. Um, and then beyond that, you have this really slender profile, uh, you know, a deep carry pocket clip with recessed screws. This is one of the earlier versions with the uh, 12C27 Sandvix N20, uh, <laughs> 12C27N Sandvix steel. Um, I think they've got one in there. What is it? There are RPM nine or whatever it is. I, I can never remember their new proprietary sort of budget steel, but uh, I love the Sandvik steel on this. And this just carries beautifully. This is just one of those knives that not only is it slicey and lightweight and slender and all those things, but because of all that, it just carries wonderfully uh, no matter what, what I'm wearing or, you know, whatever it just, yeah, it's a great knife. So the CJRB Rhea, which, you know, is, is pretty inexpensive. I think it's in that $30 range somewhere in there. Yeah, it's it's great. This is an awesome small knife and one I definitely recommend and that I carry pretty frequently actually. All right, next on the list, uh, and I've uh, talked about this knife before. This is the Ferrum Forge Mini Archbishop. Uh, this is a beautiful knife and one that I just, I think it's not only sort of Ferrum Forge doing their thing, but uh, which is, you know, sort of taking a bigger, a bigger design, making it smaller, but still making it excellent. Uh, and this definitely is that. Uh, and in fact, this mini archbishop, uh, this is my second mini archbishop because I had a, I had one that I sent to a buddy, another YouTuber experiencing Matthew Carlson. Go check him out. He's, he does um, uh, uh, sardines and canned seafood kind of reviews. He's hilarious and funny and really just a kind, a kind dude. So if, if you're into that kind of thing, like I am, go over on, on over there. And even if you're not, go on over there and check him out. He's a, he's a cool guy. But I sent him one of these and I missed it after I sent him my, my original mini uh, Archbishop. And so I had to pick up another one. I think this is just a fabulous option for not only just everyday carry, it's got this Nitro V uh, steel on the blade. Um, this one is in the, sh in the sort of shredded, what is this marbled? I guess this is marbled carbon fiber. 
um, you know, I went a little, I went a little blingy on the second one, but uh, yeah, it's just great. Uh, fits in the pocket well. It's got a fun design. It's a fun action finger and flipper and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, very, very cool. So that's what we've got here with the, and I'll try it. Well, yeah, cool knife. There you go. All right. Number three on the list, this is one I've talked about quite a bit uh, and everybody will probably roll their eyes, but I really do think it's one of the most underrated Spyderco's out there and that is the Spyderco Urban. It is one of their modern slip joints. This one is in that AEBL steel. This is just a great user knife. In fact, it was just featured in my uh, top five user knives. I, I carry this thing all the time and use it all the time. In fact, even when I'm not carrying it, it's around the house somewhere being, you know, stashed and ready to be used at a, a moment's notice. It's got this beautiful leaf shaped blade. It's got this amazing backspring tension, which for me is paramount on a slip joint. I just cannot deal with weak backsprings on a slip joint, even if it's a really great design. So for me, this one just ticks all those boxes. Uh, this is a great, this is a great um, traveling knife. You know, it's, it's, I think they're like 40 or 50 bucks. So if, you know, somehow you lost it, you're not going to be, you know, crying a river because you're never going to be able to replace it. But yeah, this is just a really excellent, awesome, lightweight EDC, non-locking uh, EDC option out there and in that smaller knife category. So Spyderco Urban, definitely a favorite, and I think definitely should be in the top 10 of small knives. All right, next one on the list is the Mini Big Lighter. That's right, this is from Kaiser Knives. This one I picked up actually, I wanna say it was a couple of Christmases ago, and they've had different variations and iterations of this kind of come and go, mostly at Blade HQ. I don't know if that's, they've got sort of an exclusive deal with Kaiser on the Mini Bag Lighter. I like the Bag Lighter a lot, um, but honestly, the Mini version, I think I like even more. Um, I, I like the Big Bag Lighter quite a bit, but the Mini is really, really cool, and this one, um, Again, I was delighted to pick it up. It's in 154 CM, which is awesome. I've noticed a lot of Kaiser's Vanguard series type knives these days are coming in that N690, which is fine. <laughs> it's fine. I know it's probably pretty comparable actually to 154 CM, uh, but I just like 154 CM a little bit better. So there you go. I mean, this is a great option. It's like I said, slender, lightweight. I think these run about 35 bucks, something like that. It's not like they're overtly expensive, especially if you get them on sale. They might be a little more than that, actually, if you don't get them on sale, maybe closer to 50 bucks. But if you can get them on sale, I think they're a really excellent bargain and a really great carry. The only thing I would complain on this one a little bit is the pocket clip, and that's sort of endemic. I mean, it's a fine pocket clip. It works It works just fine, but it's kind of ugly, right? Uh, and on top of that, it, it's just Kaiser Vanguard knives in general. Now, they're getting better. Some of them have do have improved clips, but... Yeah, they just, they need to up their game on that a little bit with those clips. Um, I don't think it would be hard to do sort of a deep carry <laughs> option on there. And I'm not one of those people that says every clip needs to be deep carry. I don't actually believe that. Um, but, and I don't even actually prefer that. But uh, this one is just, it's mediocre. I think it's the only thing on this knife that's kind of a, a, a niggle for me as terms of, of not enjoying it. But, you know, running on washers, which I think is unique, which makes the action, it's very, it's very glassy and smooth. What, what's, what's that knife term? Hydraulic. It's got a very hydraulic action. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. Uh, the mini bag lighter is a really great small knife option. All right. Now, number five on the list, this is the one that I'm borrowing from a buddy, uh, uh, my buddy Lewis over at South Central EDC. Go check him out on Instagram. Say hi uh, from me if you do. He's really cool. And this is the ProTech Runt 5. Yeah, this thing, <laughs> this thing is, I have to say I laughed when I got this. Not because it's sort of weirdly proportioned, which it kind of is, small blade, kind of bigger handle, but for a small knife, actually that's kind of cool um, to be able to kind of get three and a half or, you know, almost all four fingers on there. Uh, but the thing that made me laugh about this was ProTech is known for having a very snappy action, right? And no question about it, this does. But they did not minimize the action on this at all. <laughs> this is the full size ProTech action. Yeah, in a tiny, tiny little knife. What a time to be alive. And boy, this thing, it bucks a little bit. Uh, you better be holding on to this when you, when you, when you actuate it because it sort of rockets out of there. But this is just a really cool automatic option. In fact, this is the only auto automatic on the list here. And here in Washington State, I actually can't, it's not legal to carry automatic knives, so I don't carry that many. I do have a couple and they are both ProTech. 
Now it's a little bit chubby, but it's got some fun jimping on the back there, a beautiful pocket clip, you know, Protec, that's, they know pocket clips, right? Fully recessed, all that good stuff. A little bit of a lanyard hole there, but just unique. It's just a unique knife and, you know, maybe the only gripe, and that's all, I'm gonna be doing a full review on this, so we'll talk about that then, but maybe a little more. The only thing I've noticed is because the blade is so small, uh, it does take a little bit of getting used to on how you wanna close it because you can kind of, lose control of it just because it's a bit on the smaller side. Uh, oh, just like that, right? So yeah, you just gotta, let me get myself today. No, okay. Um, there you go. That's kind of, that might be one of my, one of my um, primary, you know, if I had a gripe and I have gripes on everything, right? But um, by far, this has a lot more good than than bad on it and just is a really interesting knife. So the, the ProTech Run 5, very cool. And thank you, Lewis, for the loaner on that. All right, the next one on the list, also happens to be a slip joint. And it's the only other slip joint here I've got on the list. And it is the Real Steel Luna. Now the Real Steel Luna has really a lot going for it. One is price. I think if you get the right version, and this one I think was slightly expensive. I have two of these. Uh, one of them I have in a JG10. This is in that golden ebony. I think it was a River's Edge nice uh, River's Edge knife exclusive version or whatever. The other one I have is White Mountain Knives uh, exclusive. I think that was the JG10. But they were both like, well, this one I think was more like 30 some bucks, but I, and the Jade one was like 28 or something. I mean, it was just ridiculous value for a, a just beautiful blade, D2 steel. I mean, thin, thin grind, super, super slicey and just attractive right? This is just an attractive knife. Uh, there's a lot about this knife that I really, really do like. And again, it's got that stronger back spring. So for me, it passes that test and, and it's one that I, I you know, I want to keep around. And it's got this nice little bit of jimping here. So when your finger's up on there, it just feels pretty locked in for, for a slip joint. The other thing that this really has going for it, um, and there you go, it's a little bit of the walk and talk, as they say. Um, the other thing that this has going for it, is this pocket clip, which is just stellar. It is just stellar. One, it doesn't even look like a knife pocket clip because it basically looks like a pen or something in your pocket, but it's just so discreet. It's screwed from the inside, so it's all flush. Anyways, it's just, it's an awesome pocket clip, and this is just a super lightweight option. Obviously highly legal because it's just a slip joint. You can kind of carry it anywhere, and it's just kind of a classy looking knife, right? Yeah, I love that golden ebony. Let's even give you a little more of a close up on that, yeah. So there you go, the Real Steel Luna or the Small Luna. There's a bunch of variations out there for the Luna, but that smaller version, yeah, it's, it's pretty excellent. All right, the next one is a Kaiser knife. It is, yeah, it's the second Kaiser, I guess, on the list here today. And it is the Kaiser Yorkie. Yeah, this is a Ray Laconico design, as you can see there. Maybe you can see. Um, this one happens to be an M390 and Micarta. I actually like this version of the knife, even though I'm not generally into blacked out blades. Uh, I like the, this version of the knife a lot, particularly because they've added a little bit of jimping up here on the flipper tab. You know, Ray is known for these um, very sort of conical, I don't, I don't know what the, any other way to sort of pyramidal sort of flipper tabs. Sometimes they can be a bit smooth. Um, that's one of my, a little bit of a gripe I have on the, min pin i think it's the min pin they just can be and even on my original easy c but that little bit of jimping right there really just makes it all the more easy to flip this thing out and this is just a fantastic knife not only is it a great cutter but it's a tremendous value i mean for m9 m uh, m390 steel you get this cool micarta uh, an excellent um uh, design, you know, this titanium pocket clip i think this was like 119 or something like that and yeah it's not a huge knife but Still, the value is really there, I think, on this. And this is just one of those tools that I never get tired of carrying. Um, the Yorkie is just a really, really cool knife. And it comes in a lot of different variations these days. So I'm sure you can find one that, that's right for you. I like this one. I like how, I, like I said, I don't have a lot of blacked out blades or anything. But this one, yeah, it kind of, it intrigued me. And I liked its specs. And yeah, so there you go. The Kaiser Yorkie, very, very cool knife and an excellent small EDC option. All right, the next one is from Finch Knives. Now, Finch is a, a bit of a newer company, um, uh, you know, in the arena these days, but making some really, really high quality knives. And it's just sort of a really classy company overall. And one that uh, certainly I think is, not only does right by their customers, but is really good to reviewers and other 
uh, folks in the community here. So Finch is really coming out with some cool stuff. This is one of their earlier op, uh, offerings and it is the Finch model 1929. I mean, this thing is just classy, right? Everything about it screams classy from the wood to this cool blade shape that's sort of almost a traditional, almost like a spade blade or something like that. It's got the name there. This is a 154 CM steel. And, you know, it's a little bit of a bolster lock here. You've got this cool clip. The only, um, you do have stainless steel bolsters that I mentioned. You've got this really nice Finch uh, logo in here. The only gripe I kind of had with these when they initially came out was their price. I think, I thought they were a little high on, on yeah, they were just a little, they tipped into that. Eh, I wish I could see that maybe a little bit lower in price. But, you know, I got to say, as I've sort of maybe softened on that a bit as I've, as I've used it and carried it more because, boy, it is just a really good slicer and just overall knife. It's got a great action, too, for a little knife. Um, it's unique. It's interesting. It's from a newer company. It's just, yeah, there's a lot going on on this that I like and enjoy uh, from the aesthetics, but also from the build and the function. So I might have been a little harder than I should have been on it for price, but... You know, hey, whatever. <laughs> That's how it goes in the reviewing world, right? So there you go. The Finch model, 1929, excellent small EDC option. All right, we're getting close to the end here. What top 10 EDC small knives list wouldn't be complete without a Spyderco Dragonfly on it? And my list is no exception. I enjoy the Dragonfly. I know a lot of people really enjoy it, and that's for good reason. It's an excellent knife. Not only does it have, again, that very nice spider coat sort of leaf shaped. This one's a bit more kind of arrowhead shaped, but uh, this one happens to be in K390 steel. You can get these in all different kinds of steels, all different kinds of scale options, and we'll talk about the scales in maybe just a sec. Uh, but the Ergos are really, really good. It is a backlock knife, so again, you know, even though it's small, it's you've got that security of the backlock, but the ergos are just, they're excellent. They're stellar. Uh, there's, and you can see, I, I use this knife quite a bit. Um, this is just a really, really cool classic Spyderco. Everybody I think knows and appreciates the, the, the Dragonfly, even if you may not be a fan of it, just purely on size. It, it, it you can't deny that it's a great knife. Um, it's got this really nice uh, wire pocket clip. It's reversible. Very, very cool. The, the bi-directional G10 on this, you know, or, or FRN uh, that Spyderco uses, I generally am pretty positive towards. It's a little rough on this, and I don't know why. It, it I know the clip sits on the little low, ovally logo thing that they do, and they do a lot of that pretty well. But this one sometimes, I don't know if it's just the clip's maybe a little stiff, or because the knife's so lightweight and the clip's a little stiff, sometimes getting in and out of the pocket can be eh, a little bit sometimes, but... You know, I'm trying to be honest with you on these things. I mean, I still think this is a fabulous knife, but no knife is perfect, right? Everything's got a little bit of a something, and, and that would be my only little something uh, on this particular knife. K390, by the way, is a really fun steel. It's a really hardcore sort of um, tool steel, but it is not stainless, and it will develop a very, very nice patina, or in fact, rust, <laughs> if you're not careful with it. But uh, yeah, so there you go. The uh, And I guess technically this is the Dragonfly 2, uh, I should be specific about that, but whatever. It's a dragonfly. Spider Code Dragonfly, excellent knife. All right, now we're at the last knife on the list, and I've saved this one because this is the newest knife that I have in this small knife category. It's just arrived, and I got to say, I, mm, I didn't want to kind of like it all that much. I didn't want to buy into the hype because I hate buying into the hype of anything, but darn it. Ben Peterson, this is just a good knife. <laughs> this is just an awesome little knife. I'm only going to say this one more time, sir. Calm down. This is the Civivi. Oh, I already got stuff on it. Civivi Baby Banter. The Banter was a really cool knife, too, and I actually liked it a lot. Uh, but this thing is just... I'm get, I just am getting a total kick out of it. Not only because it's a really cool knife with uh, Nitro V Steel... Excellent ergos for a tiny little blade. Um, beautiful pocket clip, fully recessed. Well done, Civivi, on that with flush mount screws, minimal markings. You know, Ben's cool. What is up, guys? Logo there. 
Ah, darn it. This thing is just so cool. So I'm definitely buying the hype on this. Well done, Ben, as usual. Um, this is just a really fun, cool knife. I'm not sure he ever even watches these reviews, so I would <laughs> he probably won't even know that I'm giving him these accolades. But uh, yeah, it's CVV as well. A little bit of a liner lock here. Very lightweight. I've been carrying this for the last couple days, even with a couple other, well, a couple different knives in my pockets now. And again, this one has sort of stayed in there. I love this thing. This is just a cool knife and I'm keeping this one. I am not getting rid of this one. Um, I got rid of my, my full size banter. Just, I don't, you know, I, I don't know. I forget who I even gifted it to. Um, maybe Ray, I think it was Ray over at uh, Everyday City Carry, but yeah, this one, uh, I'm keeping it. I like it. I like the little blue thumb stud there. I mean, this is just really, really well done as was the, the regular banter, um, a little, maybe a little vanilla, but I think the fact that this thing's small with that choil, yeah, I just, it's a cool knife. And for 50 bucks, come on, the baby banter, yeah, it's a winner. So there you go, there you got my top 10. Let me see real quickly if I can put them all out here. We've got the, the wee banter, baby banter, we've got the finch, we've got the Protec Run 5, the Ferrum Forge, the Rhea, uh, you've got the Spyderco Urban, the Real Steel Luna. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Dragonfly, uh, Kaiser Yorkie, and am I getting them all in there? Let me check the camera here. Nope, maybe not. Maybe I need to move some around here. And um, the Kaiser Mini Bag Lighter there. These are all, these are my top 10 small EDC knives. These are all awesome EDC options. If you're looking for something smaller, there's a variety here, whether it's slip joint or um, uh, liner lock or bolster lock or um, uh, automatic uh, slip joints, back lock, whatever. This sort of covers the gamut. And these are really excellent knives, all bringing a little something different to the table. Yeah, very cool. So thank you so much for watching. It's I know this is a bit of a longer video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was fun to do. Stay safe out there. Be mild-mannered to one another. And all the best.